Well, Darren, uh, very hard for two on win. Three and a half thousand fans here. I, I read something this week. I think I think you said something along the lines of you wanted us to come out firing on all cylinders, and we certainly did. It was a quick start, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was it was, it was a brilliant start, and uh, I thought Will Yaskalainen and set that tone with his uh, qualities. <clears throat> and um, I thought that uh, that gave us a really good opportunity and we've been very strong from set plays, very, very strong, especially in the second half of the season. Josh's delivery has improved greatly, really, you know, re really has. And we have found um, um, a consistency with our contact and it was nice to have um, Reese get on the, you know, score so early. It was also nice to see the role that some of the other players some of the other uh, players uh, fulfilled within that, and it was very strategic. <coughs> Not for Reese, ironically, but the role that um, uh, some of the other players played in that was was fantastic. And with just a word on Reese and his penalty, obviously recently he missed the penalties here, and uh, probably not only the players, but probably three and a, three and a half thousand fans were all think, please let it go in, let it go in. And I noticed the players; they probably spent a bit longer congratulating him at the end. I mean. It must have been a big moment for the players, I would imagine, and for him to yeah. get back on the score sheet. No, absolutely. I think. Yeah. I mean, we have that wonderful, uh, iconic uh, English moment of Stuart Pearce scoring in Euro '96 after missing in 1990. And I think we all felt the importance for Reese and the team <clears throat> that he that he scored that goal. And you know, we're obviously going to be playing very, very shortly in uh, eliminator games that are going to be potentially decided with penalties and to have him uh, score one prior to that is of benefit to us but it also shows the quality of the character and, and today should all be about the quality of the player's character Reese's character in I'm taking it um, and the character of the other players in order to see the game through and win it and we knew that Gates had came in on a good run of form albeit they'd lost their last game but they've been in brilliant form in recent weeks and we saw glimpses of that in the first half Second half they they seem to get around our press a bit easier, and they found space on the flanks. They they were very strong in that second half, weren't they? We, I think they've been I thought strong in the first half. I thought I thought that we just played better in the first half in terms of our own performance, not comparable to theirs or in comparison to theirs. <clears throat> I think I think Mike's done an absolutely fantastic um, uh, job in, in ensuring they're going to go to Wembley in the trophy and they're going to stay up and you know I remember going to, to theirs um, uh, before Christmas and, um, and good for Mike he stuck by his beliefs and he's produced a brilliant team brilliant team. I saw them I saw them score five at Eastleigh the other day so you know these are good sides but again every side that Woking plays is a good side we we have no right to feel just because of our league table position that we are better or su superior to anyone every win here this year go back to every win here it has been so hard fought and, and well earned and I feel again the same today and whilst I'm here um, it will be like that it will be it will be that sort of dynamic where we have to really really commit life and limb to to winning games and um, the injury to uh, James Daly, we went down to 10. I immediately saw you going 4 4 1, 4 4 1, and, uh, and then uh, it looked like we may have picked up another injury as there. So yeah. it, it was, uh, again, I suppose the manager <coughs> would have to think on your feet. You've probably been there a number of times before yeah. in those, but it's, uh, we cope with it quite well. We didn't have no, any... very well. It, it, very well. It, it, I don't want to underplay that. Uh, I know I'm uh, very. Um, um, critical at times and you know I try and manage expectations but well, at four, when we went to 4 four, one and Wakefield w was injured we were down to nine men the players were magnificent I actually thought the last ten minutes was probably the, our best ten minutes of the second half <coughs> just the way they managed it the way Armand played you know right side of midfield the way uh, Wabuke played on the left side of midfield you know I, I thought their character and determination um, shone through and you know, I, th I thought as well, and it, it's important because some players naturally get more credit than others with goals and assists or technical ability. I thought Joe McNerney was a game changer, a real game changer. Uh, his experience, his character, his injection of uh, communication, <coughs> I thought was uh, was telling. And uh, like I said, uh, uh, and I never 
want to play 4-4-1 with 10 um, because I always like to have a second centre forward but um, they were outstanding and so was Charlie Wakefielder trying to do on an injury if anyone's seen a hamstring injury it's almost um, it's almost crippling in yeah. your physical performance yeah. Um, and uh, I thought his character in that moment was as strong as everyone else's also. Yeah, brilliant effort, brilliant effort. Now, a lot of people talk about, you know, third is now back in our hands, but I, I want to take a pause really and just say we're guaranteed a, a sport and I think we should celebrate that. I mean, it's been a tremendous, you know, the start of the season, we've been in third for a long time, but to be, to be confirmed, regardless of what happens in the next week, at being fourth in the National League, with two teams running away at this top is a tremendous achievement. No, enjoy today, enjoy today, you know, enjoy the win today, enjoy every win, because every accumulation of win or draw, three points, one point, has ensured that we have, <coughs> we've met a campaign standard like no other, I'm, you know, I think, I think I'm okay in saying that in terms of our points tally and our position, so, you know, but we can celebrate the position at the end of the season. I think today we should celebrate today. The determination of the players, the character of the players, the, the physical capabilities of the players. I think we should celebrate them um, and, the, um, and the excellent support that we received. And um, three and a half thousand fans mentioned that. Superb. Amazing. A lot of noise, particularly the start of the second half. Amazing, amazing. And, we have to grow. This is the only way to grow. There's no other way to grow. The, the, the model of football is, you know, it's, you're only as good as your supporters. And to me, the highlight of the season, whatever happens, will be the improvement and connection between the players and the supporters, and the fact that the supporters now believe in the people that represent them, and that's what we do. We represent them, and uh, and that to me is more important. You know, as a, a working class. Uh, football coach, um, someone you know that had other jobs to ensure I could qualify as a football coach. That's really important to me that the, the supporters believe in the men representing them. And again today is just further evidence of their commitment to that to that cause or to that objective. I thought they were I thought that last ten minutes was, was as good as we've been. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure the physios, the health Strength and conditioning people are going to be busy in the next 48 hours, but we're back here on Tuesday, Halifax. Uh, again, hoping for a big crowd and uh, a yeah, lot of noise. Absolutely, we, we've got to grow. We we have to keep growing. We can't think that this is this is kind of the end and the pot of gold is close. It's not. The pot of gold is that this club becomes bigger. You know, we have more supporters every week. We grow. The ground grow. Everything grows because <clears throat> in football, if anything stands still, you lose. So you know we have to grow, and they are the key to this growth. So, yeah, we could, you know, with with tanks running empty, um, with changes that will definitely have to be made um, Tuesday. They, they'll need as much energy and support and injection of how you feel for them, uh, more so than ever. Brilliant, Darren. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Top man.